Dr. Crab, before this video begins, I am no way a professional, and the information in this video is accurate to what it's about, but it's just that I'm not, I'm no professional, and I'm not really going to sound like a professional in this video, but just to know, this does work. Today, I'm going to be showing you how you can get different mod profiles for Minecraft. So, without anything else, let's get right into the video. First thing what you want to do is you want to go to the first link in the description that will be this page, which will be the fabric loader. And what you want to do next is just download it. You need to go download for Windows, just click on that, press save as, put it somewhere. I'm going to put mine in the download, and then what you want to do is you want to just save it into here. Now, of course, I've already downloaded this, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to download it again. The second thing you want to do is you want to open it, and this is what you want to do, because it'll be important later. Now, what you want to do is you want to choose the version of Minecraft from the fabric loader that you want to play mods on and make sure you got the right mods for it and i want to play on 1.19.2 them type of mods if you want to do any snapshots you can press show snapshots and you want to make sure create profile is ticked it'll say ready to install and then all you need to do is press install you'll see that the minecraft launcher is open if you have it open just close that and then you want to just press would you like to continue anyway press yes because you've closed the launcher it should be easy now as you can see it is now successfully installed what you want to do is just press ok and then you can just cross off of that because it's not really usable anymore next thing you want to do is you want to go to your file explorer if you're on windows and then you want to click here and then you want to do percentage app data percentage and press enter and then you want to click on the .minecraft folder, and you'll see you've got all of this stuff here. What you want to do is you want to make a new folder, just call it like mod underscore loader. You can call it whatever you want, and just press enter. And then the next thing you want to do is you want to double click into that folder, and then you want to make another folder. And because I want to play with fabric mods, I'm going to name this fabric. And then I'm going to press enter. And then I'm going to click into that folder. And then I'm going to create a new folder. And I am going to put the 1.19.2 file like that. And then I'm going to double click into that. And then I'm going to make a new folder. Name it Fabric 1. But you can name it whatever you want. And then you click into this folder. And you'll see it's empty and everything. And the next thing that you want to do is you want to go back here and then you want to press minecraft again you want to go back into that and you want to just load it up here let the minecraft launcher load up and uh, your stuff and i'll be back once that's done right now as you can see it is now finally loaded up for me and then the next thing you want to do now is you want to go click into installations and you can see here that there is this fabric loader one that we've made what you want to do here is you want to click on this here and then you want to click on edit and then you can press on more options because that's just easier and then you can see the game directory you can use the default, but what I want to use is I want to use this game directory right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that, and I'm going to go back into the Minecraft launcher, and control V that into there. And then you can name, if you want, you can name the fabric launcher anything you want. I'm going to be using the better mods. Just click enter on that, and uh, maybe just, <laughs> okay, I didn't, okay, I didn't mean to make a copy of that either. A Okay, so just go into this again if you've accidentally clicked out of it, and just more options, and then you see this here, the GVM arrangements. Hi, editing here. It's actually called arguments. I don't know why I call it arrangements. I guess it just looked like arrangements when I first read it anyway. These are basically your stuff here and light stuff. And this 2G is basically how much RAM the launcher is going to use. So what I want it to use is I want it to use a bit more RAM. So I want to use 8 gigabytes of RAM. That's what we're going to do. And then after that's done, you can press on save. And then the next thing you want to do then is you want to go back into play. And then you can see the better mods. And then you want to just press on play here. And then you want to say, I understand the risks. Don't worry about this installation. And then you can press play. It'll start waiting on install. And then it'll start installing. And I'll be back to you. Well, I'll be back with you once that's finished. All right, now, as you can see, the game has finally loaded for me. It took me a bit, but it's finally been done. And now the next thing you want to do is just 
close out of it. Just just close out of Minecraft. And if you see behind my studio, you click onto your mods folder, and you can see that it has installed these packs that we need, including this mods folder. Now, this is where you get to install your mods. Double click on that, and then what you want to do is you want to go to your mods. Like, I'm going to be using the better nether and the better end for this. I have them up here, so you can see. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to the one point nineteen point two build. I'm gonna click on that. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on download. And then it's gonna download into our folder. We can save it as Yeah, to make it easier, you probably already know just percentage app data percentage where you're gonna save it. Go into your Minecraft folder, go into the folder that you made earlier, into the fabric and then the fabric folder which you've made to install your mods into and then you can see the better nether and then I'm just going to save that into there and then that will be installed into there and the better end now I'm going to also install this so I'm going to click on the 1.19.2 one click on download and just let that happen I'm going to press save as load here and then I'm going to save it in here because it's got the folder that we just used. Now to pass some time, we're going to install something else. The Fabric API, which is used for most of the mods. So what I'm going to do, click on the Fabric API here. Just let the model page load. Work off of that. Just let it load a little bit here. So now I'm going to press on view all. And then I'm going to go to the 1.19.2. And I can hardly see it here. So I'm just going to sort the page out by 50. And then we're going to go down and try and find 1.19.2. Wherever that may be. Looks like it's in another page. And there's so many pages here. All right, here we are. 1.19.2. Click on that. I'm going to click on download. And then we're going to save as and put it into our folder as well because this is the fabric API. All right, now what we can do is we can actually play our mods. So, what we're going to do is we are going to go on to the Minecraft launcher again, just load up our game, let it happen. Time to load up, and I'll be back with you once the launch has decided to load. Right, we are here back again, the launch has finally loaded. And now we're just going to click on play and we're going to, you know, load up our new mod that we've made. Okay, seems like I've accidentally um, entered an error. That's because I have an incompatible mod and I need B-Clip. So we're going to close out of that. Of course, the microphone is just going to load up. We're just going to load up B-Clip. Click on that one, and we obviously need B clip because it ain't gonna work without it. Okay, so now we are going to go down to where is the okay? So we're gonna press on view all here, and then we are going to go down to the 1.19.2 fabric. Click on that, click on download, and we're gonna download that into our mods folder as well. So just click on save and let's load that. And now that that's done, we can close this, and we can attempt to play the game again. Alright, so now my game is actually loading, instead of crashing like it did last time, because we had a B-clipping problem. And we're just gonna let this loading screen sit out, don't know how long this loading screen will take. And there we are. Welcome to Better X. As you can see, that is the Better X, and we can just press proceed. And... Here we are, the music is playing, and as you can see, the mod installation was a success because it said welcome to Better X. I'm going to edit my FPS a little bit, edit some of my video settings, change that to that, change, turn that down to this, so bring this all the way up. Oh, fabulous, done. Alright, now. Single player, let's press on that. And let it prepare for world creation. Now that this is here, we can name the world whatever we want. Something memorable that will remember forever. Change what difficult, play survival, play creative. I'm just going to go play creative to prove to you that the mod installation was good. And it does say better X, even here. The world type, better X. I'm going to go for 
the large ones, and then we're going to create this new world. And with that being everything, I'm pretty sure I've proved to you that the mods are working. And yeah, I don't really think I need to play this. But we'll play it anyway, you know, for some fun. At least I'm going to still play this for like two minutes. Alright, so now the word loading is at 100. It's going to take a bit, and here we are. Now we're joining world, loading train, and here we are. You can see we are here in the thing. My game is lagging. Anyway, uh, now we can go page two, and as you can see, all of the stuff from the better nether, and I'm pretty sure the better end mod as well, yep, see, is all here. With that being said, I guess, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.